What's up guys, it is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, you read that title on this video, and that's the reason why you're here. So I got more information dealing with the Legion 5i and the 7i. I got specifications, pictures, release dates, and pricing, and let's get into it. Now the first one that we're gonna talk about is the 7, the Legion 7 laptop. Now the majority of all these laptops that I'm gonna go over with you guys, the following has changed. Webcam placement, Vertical venting, no more horizontal venting anymore. 39% larger trackpad, plus there's no left and right click on the trackpad. It's a seamless kind of design on the trackpad. Uh, the majority of these laptops, the display refresh rate could go up to 240. And all the cooling systems on all these laptops have changed to a dual liquid crystal polymer fan system. Let's take a closer look on the Legion 7, and this is how it looks. If you take a closer look at the very top of the display on the Legion 7, you're going to see that the webcam is now placed up there. But because they had to place the webcam up there with a 720p HD webcam, they had to give it a nice little notch, which kind of makes it super simple to open it up now. It is a full keyboard layout, which is a huge, huge plus for those individuals that need to use the number pad but if you look closely, it looks like the directional keys have been relocated. It's no longer located at the bottom of the number pad. This is a nice side view of the Legion 7. You will see that the vents are now vertical. At the back of the 7, you're going to see the vertical vent as well as the lighting system inside the vents. This is a nice little bird's eye view of the 7. Uh, the speaker system is located now at the top. I think on the Y series, the speakers were located at the front, but now it is inside the keyboard, which is a huge, huge plus. Now this is the left side profile of the seven. If you pay close attention at the base of the display, they also gave it the nice little Y signature design. Now this is the bottom part of the Legion seven. Uh, check this out right here, this nice little inline uh, design right here which gives you that lighting scheme which is awesome now the starting price for the seven is going to be around sixteen hundred dollars that's the starting price uh, it's gonna be available around May of this year for processor you can either get the temp generation i9 or i7 for graphics you could only go up to an RTX 2080 super with max Q Memory, I think within the Lenovo side, you could go up to only 32 gigs. For storage size, you could only go to a one terabyte solid state drive. For display, they're only advertising two types. You could either get the 144 or the 240 hertz one. These are all the input and output ports that you're going to get for the seven. And the starting weight is going to be around 4.6 pounds, which I don't really consider this guy to be a light traveling laptop. Now let's talk about the Legion 5i and the Legion 5. So what's the difference? So it looks like the 5i is the model with the Intel processor, the 5, is the one that's going to be housing the AMD processor. Uh, as you guys can see on the slide, everything that's highlighted in black kind of stands out because same cooling system, refresh rate could go up to 240, uh, full keyboard layout with the number pad, 39% larger trackpad and vertical venting. They're basically the same thing with a couple of little minor things that are different. The 5i and the 5 look the same. The only difference is, is the processor. And I think on the AMD model, you can only go up to a certain uh, refresh rate model. Full keyboard layout for the majority of all these laptops that I'm gonna show you guys. Directional keys have been moved. Uh, the trackpad is seamless. There's no more left and right click. The webcam has been relocated at the top and they kind of gave you that nice little notch on the display, which makes it super easy to open it up. On the 5i and the 5, it looks like the logo has been redesigned, which is pretty cool. It gives you that nice little color scheme. This is the side profile on these machines. Again, look at the vertical venting. This is the back side, vertical venting in the back. The mesh at the bottom has been changed as well. On the 5i and the 5, you don't get the speaker system, which was located on the 7. On the 7, the speakers are actually on the side of the power button here. You don't have it. Now, this is the bottom view of the 5i and the 5. Like I said before, the speaker system is not located on the keyboard. Uh, these are the speakers right here, which are actually located on the side. Now, starting price for the 5i is going to be around $830. For the five is going to be 850. They're both going to be available around May of this year. For the five I, it looks like you can only go up to an i7 or an i5 10th generation. Uh, the graphics processor, you could only go up to an RTX 2060. 
For memory, it looks like you can only get it configured with eight gigs or 16 gigs. For display, for this particular model, the i5, you can go up to a 240 hertz for display. That, that would be your refresh rate. These are all the inputs and outputs for this particular model. The i5 is gonna weigh around 5.5 pounds. For the five, again, the five is only going to house the AMD Ryzen R5 processor or the R7. You could only go up to a GTX 1650 or 1650 Ti, uh, eight gigs of memory, up to one terabyte storage size. Uh, this one right here, display size, you could only go up to 120 Hertz or 60 Hertz. These are all your inputs and output ports for the five. And the Legion five is gonna weigh around 5.5 pounds. So let's say you don't like the 15 inch, you wanna go a little bigger. It looks like Lenovo is going to advertise the Legion 5i 17 inch. Again, everything is the same, but for the 17.3 inch model, you're only going to get 144 Hertz of refresh rate. You're still gonna get the vertical venting. You're still going to get the polymer fan system. Uh, this one actually advertises rapid charge. So let's take a closer look on the 5i 17 inch. Um, this is a nice little left side profile. Vertical venting right there, awesome. Got your webcam, which was relocated at the very top. Full keyboard layout on this one. This is the bottom part right here. Speakers are located on your left and your right. Another side profile. And again, uh, a lot of these laptops, it looks like they added this nice little on the base of the display, the signature of the Y. On this picture right here, we get a nice little view of the notch. And the only reason why we got that notch is because they relocated the webcam and, I, and I'm assuming that they needed more space for the webcam. That's the reason why they gave us that nice little notch. I like the notch because it makes it super easy to open up the laptop. Uh, it does not look like the trackpad on this particular model has been increased. This looks like a standard 3.99 to four inch uh, trackpad length. It does have the seamless trackpad without the left click and right click. Power button is not going to go anywhere. It's always going to be dead center in the middle. Full keyboard layout. So starting price for the 17 inch 5i is going to be around $1129. Uh, again, a lot of these laptops are going to be available this year, May. Uh, for the specifications, you could only go up to a 10th generation i7. For graphics, you could only go up to an RTX 2060. 16 gigs is the max for this particular machine. Uh, for storage, only up to one terabyte solid state drive. For display, you can only go up to 144 refresh rate. Uh, these are all the input and output ports. And for the weight size for this particular machine is going to be 6.5 pounds. So another thing that Lenovo has announced is the Legion Tower 5i. Again, 5i stands for Intel processor. They are going to be releasing an AMD processor later this year. For this machine, it looks like Lenovo improved the cooling system by giving it a 30% larger CPU cooling system. And also when you're purchasing it at the Lenovo site, you have an option to do a liquid cooling system. Other cool little things about the Tower 5i is it has a uh, integrated handle and you can actually set it up to have a optional transparent side panel. So let's take a closer look on the Tower 5i and this is how it looks. This is a side profile. I like the fact that Lenovo gave us the two screws right here which makes it super simple to remove the side panel. This is a front view. This is a top view, looks like this is a power button. Uh, looks like this is a audio combo jack, which allows you to hook up a headphone and a headphone with a mic. These are your USB ports, nice. And uh, starting price for the Tower 5i is pretty decent, $800. Again, this machine is going to be available this year, May. Uh, processor, you could go up to a 10th generation uh, Intel Core processor. Later on, they are going to be advertising an AMD. For graphics, you could only go up to RTX 2070 Super. Now for memory, it looks like Lenovo is going to be advertising on this site when you're purchasing either eight gigs, 16 gigs, or 32 gigs for storage up to a one terabyte solid state drive. Uh, you have a crap load of input and output ports and weight size is gonna be 28 pounds. And color, platinum black, love that color, Woo, beautiful. And for those lightweight individuals that are novice and don't want to spend a lot of money, but just want to get into gaming, Lenovo is advertising the IdeaPad Gaming 3 15 inch. Now the IdeaPad Gaming 3 is a replacement for the IdeaPad L series. And this is really huge. I really like this one because of the pricing. The overall design of the laptop has changed a lot. 
A uh, couple of the highlights, this machine could go up to 120 refresh rate, it has a full keyboard layout with a number pad. The trackpad on this one has also been increased and if you take a closer look, which we are gonna take a closer look on some of the photos, they have like a three-sided narrow bezel, which is kind of freaky because it reminds me of the Alienware. So let's take a closer look. This is a side profile, all right? None of the ports are located in the back. All the ports are located on your left or on the right-hand side, right? It does have that RJ45. This is the top lid display. As you guys can take a closer look, these are the the narrow bezel. Here's a bird's eye view of the idea pad three. It gives you a nice view of the full keyboard layout with the number pad. Directional keys have been relocated. Uh, again, it has that seamless trackpad. If you look closely right here, it looks like these are the vents right here, which is in between the keyboard and the display. So I'm assuming this area right here is going to get extremely hot. So some of the specifications and pricing. Uh, starting price for this guy is going to be around 730. Again, it's going to be available May. Uh, all these laptops, as well as the 5i tower, is going to be available this year, May. For the gaming three processor, you can either go up to an i7, i5, 10th generation. Memory, it looks like you could only get eight gigs of memory. For storage, you could only go up to 512. Kind of sucks, it'd have been cool if you go, go up to one terabyte, but there's a good chance that you could probably upgrade it yourself. Uh, for this one, you can only get two flavors of the display. The highest is 120 refresh rate. The inputs and outputs, these are all your inputs and outputs for the Gaming 3. Uh, it does advertise rapid charge for this particular model. Now the weight for the IdeaPad Gaming 3 is gonna start around 4.8 pounds. And that's it guys, that is my follow up dealing with the Legion lineup, uh, dealing with the 5i, the 5, the 7, the 5i tower and also the IdeaPad Gaming 3, holy moly. A lot of these machines are going to be released this year, May. The price looks good. I cannot wait to get some of these machines in the lab and start testing out for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Also make sure to punch, elbow, and smash that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.